Hello students, this is Manoj. Let us begin with our first session from the topic classification of elements and periodicity in the properties. In this session, we will try to understand the need for classification. We will also look into some of the earlier attempts in the classification of elements like Dobrinius triad, Newland's law of octave, Lothar Mayer's graphical classification. We will also look into their merits as well as demerits. Okay, so let us begin. Okay, students, let us begin this with a question. Why do we need to classify the elements? Well, we classify the things for us to understand them better and in an easier manner. Well, let me explain. Suppose you go to a library to find a book of your choice. Librarian, just by looking into the type of the book, the subject and the author, will be simply able to locate it for you. You do not need to go through every shelf to find it out. Why? Because the whole book in the library has been arranged in a specific manner. That is, every book in the library is classified and assorted into a specific shelf. Similarly, when there are many elements, it only makes sense if you group them according to their properties, which is nothing but the classification. So the attempts of classification started very early. In the beginning of 18th century, when there were around about 31 elements, the first attempt was made by Lavoisier, who classified the elements into metals and non-metals. But that was too general. Therefore, it was discarded. And after that, the number of elements started growing and the new elements were discovered, which were added into the list. This made it extremely difficult to study them individually. Therefore, the need for classification is very important. So if you ask very specifically, what is the need for classification? We can say that we classify the element in order to understand them better, in order to study and remember their properties and the variation within the properties. Well, the classification has also helped in predicting and discovering new elements. That you will see when we come to Mendeleev's periodic classification. Genesis of periodic classification. A very serious attempt of classification began with Dobrinia. Dobrinia arranged certain elements having similar properties in a group of three, which is known as triad. He arranged the three elements having similar property in the increasing order of their atomic mass. The atomic mass of the middle element was approximately the average of the atomic mass of the first and the third element. This set was known as triad. Some of the few examples of triads are lithium, sodium, potassium, chlorine, bromine, iodine, calcium, strontium, barium. You can see the calculation that has been given in the slide. Now this was the attempt to classify but unfortunately not all elements could be included 
into this type of classification therefore this classification was discarded in the year 1866 newland observed that when the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses every eighth element has the property similar to the first like the eighth note of a musical scale every eighth note of a musical scale is nothing but the repetition the important point to remember is that this was the first periodic table the table in which the properties of the elements repeated after a fixed interval the limitation of newland's octave is that he could only classify the element up to calcium after calcium the property did not repeat after eighth element another major blow to his periodic classification was the discovery of noble gases which completely disturbed his whole classification it was during 1968 lothar meyer came up with his graphical classification in which he plotted atomic volume against atomic mass the graph showed several repeating pattern the striking feature of his graph was elements with similar properties occupied similar position in the graph i repeat lothar meyer observed that elements with similar properties occupied similar position in the graph for example alkali metals occupied the peaks alkaline earth metals occupied the descending portion of the curve halogens occupied the ascending position in the curve and the transition elements were crowded in the valleys of the curve lothomeyer by identifying the various trends and the properties of the element contributed towards the development of periodic classification but the graphical classification lacked practical utility this was one of its major limitation now let us look into the timeline depicting the development of classification of the elements actually the classification started in the year 1789 when anton lavoisier grouped the elements into metals and nonmetals but here we are only going to consider those works which has been highlighted in your textbook going by that dobrinier tried to classify the elements into triads in the year 1829 then came newland's octave in the year 1866 you should know that it was in the year 1860 the accurate list of atomic masses were made available which led to the real progress of classification of elements in the year 1868 Lothar Meyer came forward with his famous graph atomic volume against atomic mass and it was almost during the same period that Mendeleev's periodic classification came into being both Lothar Meyer and Mendeleev were the students of the same professor and had studied in Heidelberg University in Germany the Mendeleev is considered the father of the periodic table because he came with a very logical and systematic classification 
based on the atomic mass you should remember that at that time the people did not know a thing about the structure of atom in the mendeleev's periodic table there were a lot of unique features like groups periods and it was based on a periodic law and he came out with several bold prediction which made his work very special it is also quite interesting to note that mendeleev was interested in sanskrit that's the reason that he named the new elements that he had discovered as egga aluminum and egga silicon he is still remembered in the scientific community for his contribution element 101 is named as mendelevium and if you look into his periodic table from the year 1869 till 1913 you can see that his periodic table was a success and it was only replaced when henry mosley discovered that the atomic number was the most fundamental properties of the element or in the next session will come with mendeleev's periodic classification till then keep smiling and have a great day thank you